welcome friends to this final session when we distribute prashad and before i do that i want to explain to you what prashad means prashad means blessed food in the present case we are doing the same thing that we did with great master's time puffed rice was used for prashad because it could last for a little while for, for several days and uh, great master gave it with his own hands it we did not have the luxury of getting packed in bags most of us had our handkerchiefs open to take it some of us took our shirts out and got in the shirts the ladies got in their dupatta their scarves and all and he gave with his own hands so uh, we we were told take a little bit of prashad at one time so it lasts longer prashad is merely a blessed food which means that when you take it you remember your master i am remembering my master great master baba sawan singh and in remembering him i am distributing this prashad making it great master's prashad that is why it's very special for me and i give it with the utmost humility that it's a great master's prashad i'm sharing with you it does not mean that the prashad becomes something different just rice is rice whether puffed or not whether packed or not it does not change a molecular structure of the rice and why i say that is because many people began to think that it has some special value and they treated it like a medicine oh my child has a fever i gave a little prashad no you should have given some tylenol or something else <laughs> you can give prashad for blessings but it does not substitute for anything else why we take a little bit so we remember the master more let me tell you if you are initiated by a perfect living master and you remember him that is as good as any meditation remembering him creates the devotion in us and this is a matter of love and devotion ultimately nothing else will count i i mentioned several times earlier the story of my friend Hira Singh, who was initiated along with me by Great Master, and after Great Master passed away, after forty years, I was travelling to India, and he had a small house but a large lot of land, and masters would come and have discourses there in his house. Great Master went to his house, other masters went to his house. So when I, a friend of mine, an American friend, we went there, a discourse was going on by a master. So I said, "This master has come from certain place, and he is giving discourse. We'll wait till the discourse ends, and then I'll introduce you to the master." I told my friend. The master saw us, and he stopped speaking and beckoned to us to come near. so i and my american friend we walked up and said you please finish your discourse finish your satsang and we like to see you after you finish i brought an american friend with me master got up said satsang finished which impressed my friend a lot <laughs> and then we went in i met many old friends who had not seen me for a long time they began to ask questions about america about american seekers about how the axis of spirituality is shifting to america something predicted and prophesied by great master that the united states will be a very big center of spirituality and and he gave a little idea that why this will happen because they have seen prosperity they have seen affluence and the affluence has not given the kind of happiness they were expecting there's still a disappointment in life and that is why they will start seeking something else and spirituality will be the answer so people were asking me these questions and some were asking questions about meditation 
because they knew that for a long time I have been an old initiate. After that, Hira Singh, the host, asked me, I have a question to ask you. I said, yes, what is your question? He said, you and I were initiated at the same time by the same master. And it appears that you have something in you by which you are giving answers to questions. And I am in blank. I have not had any experiences at all. For 40 years I have meditated. I have done two and a half hours meditation strictly according to instructions. And I have followed the dietary restrictions, been a vegetarian, no alcohol, no drugs, lived a very good moral life. I followed all instructions and I got, seemed to have got nothing, at least no experience. You seem to have got something. I don't know how much you did in terms of meditation or something. I said, why are you asking me this question? He said, because other people are asking questions and you are answering them. I thought you might give me an answer. I said, masters have come into your house. During the master's life, did you not ask the master? He said, I did. I said, did you ask great master? When he came to your house, master, I'm doing all the meditation and I can't get anything. He said, I did. I said, what did the master say? Master said with a smile, continue your meditation with love and devotion. He, I said, other masters also came. He said, they all gave the same reply, just with a smile. And I kept on doing meditation. I said, you know, I tell you a secret. The secret is when I give answers to people, they think I am giving the answer. Actually, it is not like that. Any question somebody asks me, I put it to my master. The same master you have. And the master gives an answer and I give that to the people. They think I am giving the answer. It's not my answer, it's the master's answer. And that secret nobody knows. Of course, now you all know. <laughs> so that is why if you have a question like this, I have to ask the master. He said, all right, ask that master. Why I have not made the same progress that you have made? I said, I will. I have to get an appointment with great master and I'll give you an answer. He said, you can talk to him right now. I said, you know, he's a busy person. He's working at so many levels. He, you can't get time so easily. It takes time to get an answer. He said, how long will it take to get an answer? I said, such an important question will take about six months. And he, he said, no, you're joking. I said, no, it's serious. So anyway, the reason why I said that, I can also disclose to you was, I had to come back to United States and next visit was after six months. Anyway, after six months, I went back to him. I said, found the answer. Great master gave the answer to your question. He said, what was the answer? He said, great master said, with a smile, do your meditation with love and devotion. The very same answer he gave years ago, 40 years ago. So he's given the same answer. He said, but haven't I been doing that? I said, no. Great Master said, do your meditation with love and devotion. You did meditation, forgot the last words, with love and devotion. The secret is not meditation. Secret is love and devotion. Meditation for the mind, love and devotion for the soul. That is why if meditation is mechanically done, it's a mechanical process, nothing much happens. With great struggle, you might see some stars and some lights here and there. Somebody said, I am making great progress. I said, what do you see in meditation? I see stars and I see some lights coming. I said, if I knock you on the head, you see them right now. <laughs> is this meditation? <laughs> They're not a big deal to see some little lights and stars. We are thinking of a higher level of consciousness, higher level of awareness. So don't uh, be mistaken by these little things. Love and devotion is the secret. If you want to do meditation, do it with love and devotion. That is why if we have love and devotion for the Master, a consistent love and devotion for the Master, meditation becomes unnecessary. It's so important. 
Prashad gives us a chance to remember Master with love and devotion because of what we have seen he is doing in our life. Lot of things happen in an initiate's life which we can clearly see are all coming from the Master. Small, small things. Small things. Sometimes we just like a very small help. Oh, I was a very busy parking lot. When I reached there, a car pulled out. I said, thank you, Master, for finding me a parking lot. So for little, little things, we can see that something is happening. Of course, uh, I remember an Irish guy. An Irish guy, he had to attend a meeting. And there was no parking spot available in the parking lot. So he prayed to the Lord. Lord, if you find a parking lot for me today, I will give up whiskey. And I will also attend Mass every Sunday. As he was saying this, a car pulled out. He said, Master, don't worry, I found one myself. <laughs> anyway, said, just a joke. So, Prashad is something that helps us to remember the Master, and remembering the Master is like meditation. So, that is why we took very little of it for several days. Of course, he gave us another hint. Great Master said, if you are not able to come and see me again and get fresh Prashad, you can buy something similar. Because we also bought from the market. You can go to the same place and buy more. When little prashad is left, mix with some more that you bought. And shake it so much that you don't know where the real one is gone. And all of it will become prashad. Because every time you take it, it could be the real one. Therefore, the whole of it becomes prashad. We used to follow these little tricks also. I followed one more trick. Great master, when he used to give prashad from a basket, there were some sweets also sometimes in it, called patashas. They're just a sugar thing. So, when he just picked up like this in his hand, a patasha would come in it or not come on it. When I, I was on the line in the queue to get prashad, I would watch. If there's no patasha, I'd let the other person go ahead. <laughs> Well, these were little childish things that we enjoyed with Great Master, just remembering good things. So, I'll be very happy to distribute this prashad, which will be blessed with Great Master's blessings. And I hope that you will uh, take advantage of it and it will help you to meditate with prashad. Take prashad, meditate, it will help you. Thank you very much for joining me for these two days. I really had a good time with you and I'm happy that I could come to Montreal again. Maybe another visit we'll make again. I'll be going to Toronto tomorrow. Thank you very much. I'll now distribute the prashad.